Welcome to Tragic Moments of Police Chases vs. Road Rage Drivers Caught on Dash Cam Get Ready for a Thrilling Ride as we showcase the most intense and shocking encounters between law enforcement and reckless drivers, all captured on camera. Situation 1 Fort Worth police are reviewing body cam footage from Tiana Smith's arrest on August 5, 2024. At Abbott St. in Manford St., they stress that the video doesn't show everything, and a full investigation is in progress. It's like trying to figure out a mystery with half the clues. Stay tuned for the plot twist. Situation 2. A pedestrian darted across the road without looking, causing a driver to slam on the brakes to avoid a collision. In retaliation, the pedestrian hurled a glass bottle at the windshield, shattering it, which led to a heated confrontation. Looks like someone's got a future in the bottle throwing Olympics, just hope they're not as good at dodging traffic. Situation 3. A brawl broke out between two drivers on the A4 motorway in Catawas, which was caught on video. Passengers had to separate them while other cars whizzed past at over 100 kmh, creating a real entertainment center on the road. It looks like they decided to organize their own version of a full throttle boxing match on this motorway. Situation 4 A truck driver blocked a car trying to cut in from a side road, leading the frustrated driver to attempt a physical altercation. Instead of getting ahead, the car ended up in a much more heated and unexpected showdown. Looks like the car's driver was hoping for a shortcut but ended up in a full-blown traffic fight club instead. Situation 5 In Centurion, just before the N1 split onto the N14 towards Pretoria Central, a blue car rear-ended a white backy in a classic fender bender. Looks like someone mistook bump for speed bump talk about a blue mood. In the U.S., rear-ending another vehicle can lead to fines up to $5,000 and possible jail time if injuries occur. Expect increased insurance rates and points on your driving record as well. Situation 6 A high-speed chase near Atlanta saw 28-year-old Osvaldo Jose Garcia firing at police while fleeing at 130 mph. He faces up to 15 years in prison and $250,000 in fines under federal law. Situation 7 A man who stole a truck and led police on a chase was shot and killed after he charged at officers with a knife. We, we got it. Guess he found out the hard way that truck theft and reckless driving don't mix well with police. Situation 8 Richmond police are on the hunt for a driver who rammed her car into another vehicle after a heated argument over a McDonald's drive through spot. What an example! Wow! Talk about taking fast food a little too literally next time, just stick to the fries. Situation 9 Deputy Mella pulled over a gray Audi Audi after reports of a driver hitting curbs and stopping at green lights on South Orange Blossom Trail. The driver, a white female, was arrested for DUI and taken to jail. Oh my god, you're a bitch. You. You're a complete bitch. I'm going to see you. You have no idea. Have Sounds like she was trying to create her own obstacle course, unfortunately. It didn't come with a prize for sobriety. Situation 10 A Barry County man is facing four charges after surveillance footage caught him setting a Hastings police cruiser on fire in broad daylight.
Looks like he was trying to light up City Hall. Too bad his plan went up in flames faster than the cruiser. Situation 11. Lake County and Clear Lake Police nabbed an armed bank robber in a high-speed chase on February 7, 2016. Footbell, footbell. The suspect's getaway plan? More like a slow and steady disaster straight to jail. Situation 12. Um, dash cam footage captures a dramatic police chase in Florida that ends in a crash and shooting involving deputies. It's like a high-speed soap opera crashes, shots, and the drama never ends, just add popcorn. Situation 13. A climate activist clashed with a German worker, leading to a heated confrontation that showcased the tension between environmental advocacy and labor issues. Guess it's not just the climate that's heating up tempers or two. Situation 14. A driver collided with a biker, leading the biker to retaliate with a punch to the driver. The clash escalated quickly, making it a two-wheeled VS. Four-wheeled showdown. Guess the biker wanted to make sure the driver felt the punch of his mistake. Situation 15. In Brampton, a man was arrested after a chaotic police chase where his Jeep crashed into multiple objects and nearly hit an officer. The Jeep's attempt at a suburban demolition derby ended with 10 police cruisers stopping the driver, no injuries reported. Guess he mistook the neighborhood for an obstacle course. What is he doing? That's wild. Oh, you have to move from here, man. He's he's out. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Oh! Holy shit, man! He's killing with you now. Oh, he's hitting everybody, man. Thanks for watching. We hope these jaw-dropping moments remind you of the importance of safe driving. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more heart-pounding content.